everything at one stage, it was hard because um, the family had to actually manage how they were how they were going to cope with these changes that they were seeing in their own mother. Initially, you find that you, you're trying to resist the temptation to correct her or, you know, to tell her, oh, stop being ridiculous, you know, but really, <laughs> you should just roll with it. Like if she asks you, oh, where did you come from? And you can tell her, oh, I came from the moon and she would like totally believe you. You just got to relax because I think when you're relaxed, it relaxes them too. Or sometimes, quite scary, during the seven months, she would ask us things like, who's that child sitting in the corner? And um, we go, don't know. Or, what's Ayi doing up on the fan? And Ayi is her dead sister. Mm -hmm. So this used to occur at every seventh month. So that used to freak the helper out a little bit until she got quite used to it. Well, initially it freaked us out too. But, yeah. And then yes. we just ask, oh, so what's Ai wearing? You know, or uh, where is uh, dad sitting? Because my dad. She uh, used to away. see, yeah, her late husband also. Yeah. And we realized that by engaging with her, uh, uh, just sharing her stories or just uh, going with the flow, it was easier on her and easier on us as well. It doesn't pay to be always right in, in, in this situation when dealing with mother, you know. But it certainly pays to just um, relax and then go with the flow and not take things too personally. <laughs>